I'm April Holmes. I'm a research archaeologist at the University of West Florida Archaeology Institute. The Commanding Officers Compound is an archaeological site located in downtown Pensacola behind the T.T. Wentworth Museum. Spanish moved over to downtown Pensacola after a hurricane knocked down their settlement on the island. The first stockade wall in downtown Pensacola was up by 1757 and the Commanding Officers Compound is located right inside the western fort walls of Fort San Miguel. Excavations have been ongoing in the area since the late 1980s. We've come back recently for the Museum Plaza project, which is going to turn the whole space into a large green space. The University of West Florida Archaeology Institute is in charge of monitoring any ground disturbing activities because this is state owned land and Florida statutes mandate that uh, managing parties consider the archaeological deposits that are on their grounds. And what we've been doing is a uh, making sure that whenever there's any kind of ground disturbance going on that's related to the construction, that none of those machines are disturbing any intact archaeological deposits. One of the first things that we do when we have a project like this is we do a lot of background research so we have a good idea of what's in the area. In this particular case, since we had done previous excavations, we knew where the deposits were located underneath the surface. This area had a parking lot on it and had a lot of fill brought in, so we knew beforehand that we could let them disturb, oh, I'd say like maybe half a foot to a foot before they hit any intact deposits. We also had an opportunity to go in and do a little bit of salvage work in areas that we knew were gonna be covered up by sidewalks. And by salvage, I mean we were able to put in units and quickly cover all the data that was gonna be covered up, being archeological deposits. We were there to try and find uh, building corners to tie in some of the old maps that we have that show us where structures were located that we haven't seen archeologically. When the project starts, when the construction crews come on, Usually my role will be to watch what uh, the heavy machinery is doing when it's disturbing the ground. If I see anything that looks like it might be an intact archaeological deposit, I stop the crew and investigate. And usually I can quickly figure out whether or not it's something that's possibly a colonial deposit or an early American deposit and in the field that I then need to make a decision on whether to avoid the resource or if it's uh, something that's not significant and they can continue on. The types of artifacts we usually find in colonial context are things that survive, which end up being fasteners or old nails. Sometimes we find brick fragments. We also find a lot of uh, broken glass and uh, broken ceramics. The green space at Museum Plaza is going to be able to allow visitors to uh, interpret the archaeological deposits that are underneath their feet in a later phase.